Hi everyone, Phil here. Um, I just wanted to record a little tutorial here, not kind of a full blown thing, but just like a little tutorial on a technique that uh, that I've kind of learned how to do as I've like worked with a lot of 3D characters and trying to like make liquid look good. Um, so, and it's kind of hard to do in Lens Studio. So I just kind of wanted to show you how I do it and maybe that can help you in your process. So uh, let's jump in. Okay, so here we have a scene set up and this is using this new uh, coffee cup lens that I made. This is a Patreon exclusive lens. Uh, I'd love it if you guys signed up and helped me, kind of enabled me to create more great content for you guys because uh, I pay for software and it all kind of adds up after a while. So I'd love to have your support on that. So anyways, here's our character setup. Um, and this is kind of using my typical uh, eyes, mouth kind of guy that uh, I've done a lot of. And so you can kind of see I've got like a bone chain set up in the liquid here and using the head and body joint. And also I want to mention, go back here, so you can learn how to create this very lens just like this uh, with my new book. Here it is. Whoop. With my new book, uh, Creator's Guide to Snap Lens Studio. Um, this has a tutorial in this book along with the project files that will teach you how to make this, uh, this, le this lens right here. I know screen reversals, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, so towards the back, there's a little tutorial and it walks you through the entire thing on how to make, here it is. See right here, this little chapter right here, project four, 3d character guy walks you through the entire process of how I do this kind of lens. So I recommend you, uh, check that book out. It's on Amazon. Barnes & Noble, or you can buy it from Turner Publishing. All right, enough said about that. Let's dive back into it here. All right, tutorial begins. Um, so here we have, you can see that we've got a liquid texture set up on the copy here. And I've got the base texture, normal. I also had a little rim highlight, which kind of makes this cool little uh, rim highlight on, on the liquid itself. I like that. It makes it look a little more dimensional and cool. And then we also have our uh, material parameters set up, which gives it its glossiness. But guess what? This liquid is not transparent. And uh, what we know from coffee is that you can actually see through it a little bit if it's thin enough. So what we want to do is create a new liquid texture for it. And you're like, oh, Phil, why can't I just add an opacity texture to it? Well, that's a good question. Let's try that. So here I have this already set up. Um, we add an opacity texture. I just made a, a like a gray 42% um, texture and applied it here. Why doesn't it show up? Oh, because we need to add first add the alpha and then change the blend mode to normal. And we could say, oh yeah, now it's see-through, but guess what? That doesn't look good. That looks like the ghost of coffee and not coffee itself. So that is not gonna work for us. So what should we do here? Let's turn that opacity texture back off. Blend mode back to disabled. What we want to do instead is we're going to use one of the, the preset um, textures that comes with Lens Studio. Let's jump into the asset library, grab a material here. And what I want to use, there's a few that you could you could try. But the one I used was this right here, this jello material. Jello coffee. Mm, sounds good. Uh, so here we have our jello. And here's all, all its parameters and stuff. First, let's just go ahead and apply that to our coffee liquid geometry here. And drag it out of there. And look at that. Ooh, look at that. Jello y coffee. Yum. Okay. So there's a few things going on with this material here. And so let's let's just adjust a few things before we really 
dig into um, adding that opacity or the, the transparency, I should say. Um, well, first, it's animated. This is kind of got this bulging effect, which uh, I like it because it makes it look kind of liquid and stuff. But let's tone that down, change the strength down. We don't want to like bursting out the side of the cup there and kind of like wrecking the illusion that this is actually copy. And then I can bring the noise scale down a little bit. Um, it's still red. Let's change that color tint to something a little more copy like. Oh, there we go. Dark cup of joe right there. Um, and then we'll take this thickness down and intensity down. Chromatic aberration. Uh, this darkness and uh, exponent as well. Um, so you can kind of see here, take this thickness all the way down. And it's pretty dark. Oh, okay. So I think our color here is like too dark. So let's bring it back up into the range where we can kind of see see through it. Um, it's a little hard to tell. We're going to go ahead and just like tip this cup a little bit more. So it's going to, we could see, we can, oh, see, we can, we can see through it now. Our liquid is see through. All right. I'll take this all the way down. All right. Now we're kind of like, okay, so yeah, this liquid is see-through, but what's going on here? It's uh, it's using the background, the device camera texture as the background for this liquid, which is not what we want. Uh, we want it to, to look see-through, but we want to see like the coffee shop here. So one thing we could do is change this background texture, go into our textures and turn it into the coffee shop background that we have there. Ooh, look at that. Now it looks really see-through, but you can see all the way to the background of the coffee shop. But we have another problem here. We can see that we can't, or I should say we can't see the back of the coffee cup, which you could if it was like transparent and see-through. So here's where we're going to do a little bit of movie magic. Um, what we want to do is we're going to create a new background texture just for this liquid. So how we do that is we're going to add a new render target. Um, and then we're also going to add a new camera. So this will be the main camera. And we'll, we're going to put that on a new layer. And we're going to have this main camera feed into the new render target. We'll also rename this main render target. We want to keep things organized and make sure we know what we're, uh, we're doing while we're uh, building these projects. So now what we want to do is um, have this liquid, this coffee shape, that's that's the coffee liquid. We want that to be seen by the main camera because that's going to be on top of everything. We want to build things so that what's going on in the background is just what's going to be like this whole area in the back of the cup so that so that can show up as our background texture. Hope that makes sense, but you'll see in a second. Um, uh, so now we've got that doesn't show up because we have the coffee shape showing up in the main camera. 
you're like, and that's feeding into the main render target, but where is it? So we have to go into our scene configuration and switch our uh, render targets over to the main camera render target. And we'll do that for both. And they're like, okay, cool. So there's our copy, but where's everything else? I'm like, oh yeah. Uh, that's all on the render target. But when we go to our, that's all, that's not being seen right now. So here's what we do. Select your main render target again, change the clear color background to texture. And then from there, select your render target. Yay, there it is. So that's looking a lot better, but that's not quite right yet. Because we've got um, the, we're, we're seeing the render target fed into the main render target. And there we have all of our elements, but they're in the wrong order. So what we'll do next, oh, let's go in. We can now take this, their jello texture. I'm gonna call this coffee jello so we know what it is and change that background now to the render target. Ooh, look at that. Because um, if we go in, let's look at, change our live target just to that render target again, and we can see, oh yeah, see, that's it's feeding in the empty coffee cup right there. So then we'll jump back to our main render target just to check again. So yeah, we can see that that background texture is what's, showing up back there and like okay so now how do we hide this front part that's showing up here in front of everything we can just go in and grab this copy cup duplicate it and then change that render uh, that layer to show up on the top layer Ew, look at that there it is um now our copy cup's looking a lot better the liquid looks like liquid um, but we've uh, gotten rid of our eyes and mouth, so we can just grab all those, add those to the top render layer, and there we go. And they're all showing up now. So now we can go in to our coffee jello texture, start to play around with like thickness and intensity, and that just kind of like how much distortion is on there. Um, a little chromatic aberration. If you want that, I don't think that copy has chromatic aberration. But, you know, you can just kind of like play with the settings a little bit just to kind of like dial in what you want for for your coffee texture. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Short tutorial. Um, hope it was... Uh, instructive for you and you can learn some learn some good techniques be able to play around with this and, and uh, improve your your lens studio lenses so thank you very much uh, i'll see you next time